Hi, this is Gary Gofarb. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about herbs, foods, and supplements to get rid of parasites. There are a variety of parasites that can infect our intestinal tract. With more frequent international travel, not so much so in the past year, but beforehand, and now it's starting up again, parasite infections have become more common over the last couple of years. Fatigue, diarrhea, gas, vomiting, chills, bloating, heartburn, constipation, and stomach pain, and loss of appetite are all uh, symptoms of a parasitic infest infestation or infection. Some uh, parasites enter the body by way of contaminated food or water, and some live on the skin and on the hair, and some can be passed uh, on through sexual contact. Some parasites are also spread by insects that act as a vector or um, a carrier of the disease. If you suspect that you might be suffering from a parasitic infection or infestation, don't panic because there are natural ways to treat the infection or infestation. Um, these uh, depend on where the parasites come from. So what are parasites? A parasite is in a, a small organism that lives on or in a host and gets its food at the expense of its host. People who suffer from an imbalanced gut microbiome or a weakened immune system are more susceptible to a parasitic infection. House pets are also parasitic carriers because most of them lick their fur where parasites and their eggs can be found. So it is recommended to wash your hands after you, you're finished petting any animals that are pets, if they, especially if they don't live with you. Other risk factors are living or visiting an area known to have parasites, also poor hygiene and poor sanitation, and exposure to institutional or childcare centers. Now, parasites can cause disease in humans through the loss of nutrition due to the infection. Um, the parasites need to feed off something and they feed off our food so they cause loss of nutrition to the host. Also they damage, they cause damage to tissues of the host. Also they cause last loss of protein because the protein is used to repair the gastrointestinal tract uh, during and after the parasitic infection and also other tissues. And also they reduce the absorption of nutrients because of the condition of an infection in the body. Now all of these make the host more vulnerable to disease and the best thing is of course to get rid of them as quickly as possible. And there are a few ways, uh, first of all you want to determine that you have a parasitic infection and there are a few ways to do that. The first one is a stool parasite test. This is uh, the best test especially when at least three stool samples are collected from separate days and they are examined. This test looks for eggs and parasites themselves. The next test is an endoscopy or a colonoscopy, um, which are used when stool samples do not reveal the cause of, uh, for example, an ongoing, ongoing diarrhea or pain, um, stomach pain, pain in the intestinal tract. Also, blood tests uh, can be diagnostic. Uh, some parasitic infections can be detected in the blood. However, these are inconclusive since they only detect some parasite infections and not all of them. Also, blood serology testing looks for antibodies to parasites uh, or for parasite antigens in the blood. A blood smear test is also used for parasites found in the blood. This test is done by placing a drop of blood on a microscopic slide and then looking at it through the microscope, under the microscope. Now, if you have tested positive in one of these tests or have diarrhea and cramping, digestive pain for no evident uh, cause and helicobacter uh, pylori infection and other disease states have been ruled out, then you want to change your diet and support your health with supplements that have the potential to reduce parasitic infections. So let's talk about diet. It has been found that parasite infections in humans might be determined by the diet quality and quantity. Simple sugars and refined carbohydrates in a person's diet support parasitic growth and development. Reduced food intake, plant-based proteins instead of animal proteins, and reduced dairy consumption reduce parasite growth and development. And parasites suffer when the diet of their host is of better quality because when the host diet is of higher quality, then there is increased 
host immune system against uh, the parasites. Uh, dietary quality is, uh, of course, determined by the amount of uh, nutrients in the diet. Herbs and dietary supplements, that these can also help in uh, getting rid of a parasitic infection. Now, although there are a lack of clinical studies and trials which test the effects of natural remedies, Preliminary research does suggest that some herbs and dietary supplements have the potential for treating parasitic infections. Here are some of the recommended supplements and herbs. Number one, berberine. It's found in barberries. This extract may help you uh, protect you against tapeworm infection. It is one of the most effective natural supplements available against parasites. Aside from barberry, berberine can be found in herbs like gold thread and golden seal. Now, uh, these can be taken as supplements. The next food is pumpkin seeds. One of the more promising natural remedies is pumpkin seeds for uh, parasitic infections. When eaten fresh or toasted, they are very high in zinc, which strengthens the immune system of the host, and they are rich in protein and fatty acids, as well as the compounds curcubitin, palatine, and berberine that have been found to have very beneficial um, effects against parasites. The next food is papaya seeds. Papaya and its seeds eaten fresh have pot uh, potent anti-amoebic and worm destroying activities and may play a significant role in ki killing off other intestinal parasites. In one study, researchers found that a mixture of pure honey and papaya seeds cleared the stools completely of parasites in 23 out of 30 subjects. Um, another herb is wormwood. Wormwood is known for its anti-parasitic properties, but it's especially effective in killing off tapeworms. Wormwood contains compounds uh, which weaken parasite membranes and cause them to die. Other supplements worthy of mentioning include anise, black walnut, uh, mint, uh, clove oil, gold thread, as I mentioned before, grapefruit seed extract, propolis, organ grape, and oregano oil. Now foods, aside from pumpkin seeds and papaya and honeycomb, there are other foods that have been shown to be of particular benefit against parasites, and these foods include raw garlic, pomegranates, and beets, and carrots. All of these have been traditionally used to kill parasites. Also, you want to keep yourself well hydrated with pure water. A parasite cleanse diet is also an option. Uh, during the parasite cleanse diet, it is vital to stay away from all refined sugars, all meat, all dairy products, and all processed foods for six weeks. During this period, you want to consume a lot of fiber. It is especially important since it keeps your bowel movements regular while you cleanse and helps get rid of the parasites. Now, while the parasites are also flushed out of your body, you should eat a nutrient-dense diet full of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and seeds to strengthen your immune system. Um, I also recommend taking some supplements. Now, this along with probiotics and digestive enzymes is the best combination for killing parasites and protecting your body against another infection. During the cleansing period, also, I, I recommend on eating a few, like a... Um, a spoon, a teaspoonful of honeycomb, a lot of garlic, as much as you can uh, <laughs> consume, pumpkin and papaya, and their seeds during the cleanse. Also, avoid eating seafood during this time and drinking coffee and alcohol completely. You want to consume foods rich in beta carotene as well. Um, such foods include carrots, squash, uh, sweet potatoes, uh, for example, and these are very helpful against parasitic infections. Also, uh, doing a natural parasite cleanse can be very effective, but before you start, please do talk to your doctor and do the proper testing. Not all supplements are safe for everyone, and some can interact with medications or may be unsuitable during pregnancy if you're, pregnancy, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, or um, if the parasitic um, infection is, with, is in young children. 
So some herbs can worsen also some chronic health conditions and negatively affect people with anemia. So I would check with your doctor first. Maybe he doesn't have a pro, uh, maybe they don't have a proper understanding. Then I would go and speak to a qualified nutritionist. So I hoped you liked this video and it helped you clear up any parasitic infections that you or your loved one may have. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel for more information on health and uh, all sorts of disease states. And please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you.